All right, welcome back everybody. As we make our way through this pretty fucking sweet environment. You're just hauling, Jared. There's no stopping you. The only thing stopping you is you. And you ain't stopping. Oh geez, it's the peak of sundown. And I didn't bring a freaking flashlight either, did you? Oh my god, I totally have to explore this tree. Jared, do you think you could climb this? I was kidding, by the way, it's not sundown almost. We still have an hour and a half till sundown. It's getting windy too, I'm worried about the rocks. This is so fucking cool. Okay, if I pass you the mic, oh, I can't because it's not in my. It's like a jungle gym. snaps off like a twig though. That is fucking ridiculous. Dude. Woo! Look at that, there's a little goat. Goat truck is your vantage point. vantage point. Do you feel it in your bones? Uh, ah, ouch. That was a good patch slip. Inside of my inside of my foot. Ouch. Inside of your ankle is a really delicate place. Do you just jinx yourself or are you okay? Alright. Watch out for techs. Oh, it's sludgy. Oh my god. This looks so fucking cool. Around every corner, Jared, without fail, we find something new and exciting. And the water's pretty high here at one point. At one point? Probably in the crustacean period. Holy, it's not the tree in the Yeah, this is pretty fucking powerful. <laughs> yeah. One would think. I kind of want to free climb it. But again, not good here because the bark really is really slippery and this stuff will impale you faster than you can say Sarah Palin has children. Because she does have children. Get it? No, okay, never mind. Uh, nice. Uh, not enough recording time, that's for sure. Or I should have saved it for this. I'm sick. No, no, not this. Yeah, right on. Amazing, absolutely fucking amazing. Especially how long this camera, go poking glass on an empty battery signal. God, not complaining, but it'd be nice if it wouldn't panic me. Oh, this is starting to get a little bit. Uh, there's a drop off. 
eight out of ten. <laughs> okay, I take it. I take it back. It's more like a six out of ten, but it's still fatal. Yeah, and there's no way of doing that without gear. Well, fuck, dude. Up here, on. Is the panic starting to set in, Jared? Yeah, but you have to be really careful. It looks like there's a, a shelf that we can actually yeah. make our way, but it's nothing different than what, we, than what we've been doing all day. Just breathe. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking, you know, it might be, that looks like there's a vantage point there with that rock even. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe if we just shuffle over there. Mm hmm just due diligence. I think, uh, should we go to the very top, do you think? There's a, there's a sweater and a skeleton of someone who fell. Really? Yeah, it's right. unfortunate. Well, Once you get farther up, you'll see it's red. It's kind of depressing, but how do you feel? I feel pretty good. So we can either go up and then come thrashing right back down, or we can kind of make our way. Well, the safer, I think, would be to go straight up. Because any kind of any time you're trying to descend on loose rock, it's 10 out of 10 dangerous. But at the same point, if you can see your own way through it, it's not that bad. And if, if you use the three points of contact, you're normally safe. But again, I don't want to take any chances because we have two human lives at stake here. Okay, and I got a really fucking annoying rock on my shoe. I want to cut here for a second.